I'm here to talk about my climate trail, a climate solution from the second biggest financial institution in Norway. My family live in a country full of nature, oil, mountains and water. We are used to go hiking, skiing and taking care of nature. I thought I lived fairly normal, not causing much harm to the climate. As I'm going to tell you today, I was wrong. The surprising fact is that I'm actually using three times more carbon dioxide than an average Norwegian. I work in a financial institution. My focus is using data and technology to improve our business. We are a local company and still a part of the global economy. As a company, we are devoted to help solving some of UN's sustainability goals. And today we look into one of our solutions. We call it My Climate Trail. It's an easy to use solution for our customers to get insight into their carbon dioxide emission based on their spending. Our goal as human species is to live forever. Sustainability is the broad picture of survival. The world we live in has never been as connected as today. We eat food and wear clothes made all around the world. We travel and we are online across the globe. We are using global supply chains for goods, for food and for energy supply. Global changes in climate affects even local farmers and local fishing. Not all of these climate changes are man-made, but some of them are. And that is the basis for our climate solution. The problem is not climate changes. Climate changes is the effect of the problem. The problem is global warming, provoked by the increasing concentration of greenhouse gases caused by human activity. And that human activity is what we are focusing on. The human activity of people counts for two thirds of the greenhouse gases. In other words, behavior of a single person are actually connected to the world's global climate. So if we make enough people change their behavior, it would have a positive impact. The impact you have depends on how you are selecting your activities. It's what you and me are doing every day. Eating, living, traveling, heating, cooling, consuming. What you choose to eat and how much food you are throwing away. How you are traveling, by walking, biking, car, bus, train or plane. Why you are traveling, when there are good options through video. What clothes you are buying, and if you are using the clothes until they break, or just change it for fashion. How often do you change your mobile phone, or buy a new car? Most of these activities are causing us to use money. Heating your house has to be paid for. You are leaving a trail of spent money and each of these transactions are representing a small climate emission. The only place all this transaction is stored is in your local bank. We are that bank and your data is the data source we are using in our solution. We ask for your consent to use this data. It, the data is yours. Together with a local startup and knowledge from some of the best universities in Norway, we process those transactions and calculate your personal climate trail. The solution lives inside our digital bank. We use all your transactions and with advanced machine learning, we cluster your consumption into categories to make it easy to compare to others. We calculate your carbon dioxide emission. Then we compare what we call your carbon footprint to others. And we explain it. We give you insight, we give you knowledge based on your data to enable you to make better choices. We also ask for your permission to share anonymous data for research purposes. Shock is the first reaction for most of the people using our solution. Is this really me? Denial tend to be the next. Cannot be correct, must be something wrong here. Most people understand 
that they have a climate trail, but very few know the size of it or what's in your behavior that are affecting the climate. But since the data is your own and fairly correct, people are accepting them and getting insight, understanding, learning what their money consumption are actually telling them. Our calculations must be good enough to give valuable insight and explain what areas you need to look into. A story without data is a myth. But data without a story is just a bunch of numbers. With my climate trail, we are giving a personal story to your data and enable people to make changes that matters. The first step in a new direction is the most difficult one, but it's also the most important one. Through this solution, we lower the barrier to take this first step. Everyone has heard of the butterfly effect. One butterfly causing dramatic changes other places in the world. Small changes for a lot of people that's causing a huge impact, that's our goal. We are now in the process of delivering this solution to all our customers in Norway. That's potentially millions of people. We, as a bank, decided to start with those we can influence, first ourselves, then our customers, and lower the barriers to make the first step. Our solution is simple. My climate trail will enable a lot of people to take better choices and make an impact. At a personal level, after the shock and denial, I've gained some insights and made some changes myself. I'm still riding my old car, but I'm using my electric bike a lot more. Pandemic made me fly less and be fluent in video conferencing. Both are now a part of my new normal. As a family, we are focused on food and food waste. Buy less, more local, don't throw away food. What climate trail are you leaving? What actions will you make? Thank you.